welcome to episode two of The Garden. Uh, my name is Alex. People asked me to introduce myself last episode. I don't know why, but my name is Alex if you wanted to know. Uh, today we have a special guest, the coffee connoisseur, the open mic maestro, <laughs> <laughs> the, man, the man who gave a lot of people their first start in the music scene in Drada. It's Dahi McGann. Hello. <laughs> Yay. What's going on? Not much. Just chilling. Are you all right now? Do you int- introduce yourself? I'm introduced. <laughs> Hard parts over. Never doing that again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you're the event manager at Trinity Quarter right now. How's the lockdown affected oh, you? Uh, massively, I suppose. But not just in Drada. I suppose the whole country, really. It's massively affected. Can't do any big live shows anymore. Mm. Uh, we're lucky enough with the Blinders Band. That we got a few Friday nights, but in terms of big shows... What do you do? Like you kind of we're we're in this now till you said till what next April? So I suppose we're just sitting and waiting, like sitting ducks. Yeah, you know, and they get back bit, into it. Yeah, when you can. You had some really cool acts. Uh, I've got a few listed here. You got Paddy Casey, David Keenan, Mick Flannery, Christy Dingham. Yep. To name a few. Uh, how do you even get a hold of these people? Uh, it's actually easier than I thought when I first got into it like <laughs> thought I was going oh dealing with these but uh, just they all have agencies and you just kind of contact the agency and they're all really good to work with and easy mm-hmm. to work with as well you know so that yeah basically just send an email we have a venue do you want to book the act in <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's grand like and you have a favourite act you've ever had in Trinity Quarter uh, well it's the concert hall so there's well, the Trinity Quarter or Crescent Concert Hall Sally Cinnamons it's alright there's oh, a whole geez. it's a whole big building but uh my favourite act like performing mm-hmm. I'd say it was probably uh, well I'm a big fan of Mick Flannery so I really liked seeing him mm. uh, personally but uh, who was really good Damon Dempsey was very good live show yeah uh, the energy in the room was fairly explosive you know yeah. but uh, nearly every act like you know they all have their own individual kind of style and, and that so it's yeah they're, they're all really good you can see the the level of talent when you're at that the top of the game with that you can see yeah. really see the difference you know yes yeah, <laughs> and your your band the blinders as you said what kind of music do you guys play a bit of heaven <laughs> uh, you know the middle of the road like uh yeah kind of <laughs> you know <laughs> a bit of wagon wheel and all that kind of thing like no we just uh, we kind of started off like just jamming tunes we all kind of knew each other and we started off mcphail's r.i.p um and yeah we just kind of play, started playing songs that we we enjoy playing and then the more we were down the more the kind of stuff we had to learn you know <laughs> just yeah. a bit of everything like you know, rock pop kind of stuff i suppose and the aesthetic is very peaky blinders i'm assuming yeah big fan massive fan <laughs> i love tommy shelby nice yeah a bit uh, of killian murphy killian murphy's crazy yeah. crazy good Ed. and you've got the coffee box andrada yes Bit of that, bit of Brandon. Oop. Give a little zoom in. <laughs> How saucy do I look drinking it? Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, in the coffee box, not only do you sell lovely coffee, you got vinyls, guitar strings. Yeah. Well, we actually we had to get rid of the vinyls for the minute because oh. we're not really allowed to have people in it. So it's no. like a takeaway thing. So it was mm-hmm. kind of yeah. We had to kind of make space for other things. It's a bit of a shame that we can't do it because you can't really have people lingering in the shop. Yeah. But it is what it is, I suppose. And I heard a rumor that if you if you play a, a, a song at the coffee, you get a free coffee. A free coffee. Yes, that I heard is. that here. <laughs> Maybe not first, but you heard it. Yeah, that Please is true. Then the, the coffee. I invite box. all musicians to come down and play, Fantastic. and we have a little garden outside it. There's outdoor seating, so come down there and bring the guitar and Lovely. sing a few tunes. And uh, you've been going a little bit viral at, uh, at the minute, the last few weeks. Viral? For, I wouldn't for say swimming. That. <laughs> you can see swimming, yes. ice, ice baths. Yeah. Do you have any wise words about ice? No, I, I um, started getting into this guy, guy called Wim Hof. Yeah. And it's a breeding technique, uh, basically. And uh, he exp- he explains the whole science behind it. And it's basically, wake up in the morning, and you do this uh, rounds of this breeding. But he sa- what he sa- says, doesn't he? He's all the science, apparently, to back it all up. Is that it oxidizes your whole body and will make your body alkaline. And uh, it's really, really good for you. And you combine that into cold water exposure, and you, you do the two of them. It's supposed to be really, really good for your body and good for the energy. And it is, yeah. it's class. I'd recommend everyone do that. Oh, my girlfriend's going to be pushing me in the sea now. Yeah, do it. Here. It's good yeah. for you. Yeah. So the first song was uh, Small Town, a song you thought was going to be controversial. Can you tell us about it. <laughs> no, well, not controversial. It was like I wrote the song when I was like in 
I like early 20s you know how we all are very emotional back then and uh, it was just one of these times I was going through that I just wanted to get out of Dodge you know that kind of way I just yeah. needed to go and get some headspace so uh, I ended up calling up to my friend Paul who was heading to Australia uh, the following week and I just <laughs> Uh, brain idea came and was called up to his door and I was like uh, I want to go to Australia and he's like what when and I was like I'll go with you next week if I can and he's like fucking really <laughs> I had about 250 euro in my pocket end up getting a loan for the flights and the whole thing and just went to Australia and that's kind of the basis of where that song was is just to get out and see the world for a little bit and then see what happens you know great yeah well the audience is going to hear Small Town by Dahim again Small town, you know what you're saying Wood travels quickly and I'm sick of waiting around a small town Small town, I say goodbye Turn a new page and I'll open my eyes from this small town your business is theirs, they feel the need to know What you say, where you live, where you go No escaping these gossiping queens I can't wait to get up and be free from this small town And you can hear them whisper, he done this saw he kissed The same people and stories all the time I feel trapped in this mindless place It's time I stood up and escaped from this small town And I met a guy one time, had a pint i never seen him before in my life And it wasn't long before he knew my name and my brother too It's just a small town But don't get me wrong Home is home I do love this place But it's time to go Too much drama that I don't need I can't wait to get up and be free I'm not saying I want to be alone it's just time to see the world Cause it's easy to get stuck or settle down And then I'll never be free from this small town It's just a small town They know what you're saying Word travels quickly and I'm sick of waiting around a small town Small town to say goodbye to turn a new page and I'll open my eyes from this small town it's just a small town they know what you're saying word travels quickly and I'm sick of waiting around this small town small town I say goodbye Turn a new page and I'll open my eyes from this small town It's just a small town It's just a small town So yeah, you, for, for me, you gave me my first start in the music scene Did I? In Broadway, you, I played open mic in front, I played in front of anyone for the first time really in at open mic in McPhail's in McPhail's oh, when you were doing it so uh, how long I was wondering how long you were part of the, the music scene when did you start singing in Drada oh uh, well it was it was originally Jamie who rang me one day I think we were probably only about 18 or 19 I'd say so maybe 20 but um, and he was like oh, I'm thinking of starting an open mic and I was like oh, it was literally and it was so weird when he rang me I was actually on the laptop looking for open mics no like around a plane and there was none on so he we he started up and that was my first time playing uh, in the pub scene or whatever like I used to do singing and music in school and stuff like that like um, but yeah the old Mike McPhail was probably when I first started kind of we all started there <laughs> it's a bit weird isn't the it origin, <laughs> yeah, it's gone. It's gone yeah I know you've <laughs> we won't get into it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was going to say why, why do you think open mic particularly is so popular 
Um, as in for people to play or for people to watch because I feel like creds are really big at open mics yeah that, that, that was a bit of a I think when it started getting really big was when we decided to do it outside and I think when you the outdoor music there's something, just something real especially in Ireland because like oh make the most of the, yeah. the outdoor weather like um, so I, I guess it was probably when we started doing that it started to grow and get really big from that like you know it's, mm. I don't know it's a, it's a weird one like on a Wednesday night and it used to, the place used to be packed it was just yeah. a good night like I suppose Wednesday night novice musicians but it was the best night yeah like, I know yeah I suppose a bit of crack and all that as well you know yeah, and, yeah. a lot of people know you from your cover band Iron Sky the Pat yeah. Martini uh, cover band how did that come about? Um, I've always been a fan of Perlatini. I always liked his music and people have said that I kind of sound like him sometimes when I'm singing uh, so I think he released we were recording the album the Boy The Swings album at the time and I have a song called Slavery and then I listened to Iron Sky the actual song Iron Sky and I kind of was comparing I listened to the two of them I was like Jesus Perlo's kind of it's very similar what the songs were about I was like oh man he's kind of on the on the money with that and then I just really got into it got into him then and I said fuck we'll do a tribute to him like three albums plenty to work with and it was a great night like really yeah. really good crack that was a great show yeah I really enjoyed doing that gig like obviously Paolo Paolo is a big influence what other artists influ- influence you um, you I would say Bob Marley uh, Elvis big fan of Elvis uh, who else would there be there's a load like even more modern people like uh, do you ever hear Xavier Rudd no I went to see him before He's, he was brilliant and uh, the likes of Newton Faulkner and stuff like that they'd be kind of mm. yeah and do you remember the first song you wrote? the first the song first. I wrote would have been yeah I do actually do you know what it was called? <laughs> the Come Down <laughs> I won't go into what that was about but <laughs> it's in the title <laughs> I think people say <laughs> yeah yeah and uh, yeah, what what inspires you to write? What do you write your songs about? Oh, yeah, actually, sorry, <coughs> I haven't wrote a song in a while. I suppose I haven't re- since Phil passed. I'd say I haven't really wrote many songs. I wrote one song kind of about that exp- going through that kind of shite, and that was probably the last time I did do mm. that. Like, yeah. And mentioning Phil, you wrote the Dam with Phil, which is I think where a lot of people would also know you from. The Dam. The Dam. Yes. Uh. Yeah, when, when did I write the damn? It's probably like ten years ago or something like that. And I was I actually was kind of it was before me and Phil started kind of playing together at the dam, and then we had another song called Nameless Stranger, and we were at a party one night and we just got playing it long, and the two of us were like fuck, we should start playing together, and then that's when it all began. Then it's good, it. good crack. It's a great great song. It's got over a million views on YouTube. But mm. you didn't upload the video. No, <laughs> Jordan Royley, I think, is your man. I'm gonna try and get in contact with him. Yeah. And, uh, he did message me before, but he he actually couldn't get into his YouTube channel then. So he he, he was like, oh, I can't even take it down. There's like, no point fucking taking it down. Like lost, yeah, <laughs> lost in the abyss of the online world, you know. Sure, at least it's up there. People yeah, exactly. We actually have an, a recording of it uh, out in Jamie's studio. And we were supposed to get it mixed and mastered, but since lockdown, we didn't get to touch it again. Mm. And and it's Phil playing on it and doing little solos. It was lovely. And Niall and Greg's will come out, and Niall put a bit of guitar to it as well. It was really nice. So we're actually gonna re-release it, I suppose, oh, <laughs> or I'm release it for the first time, hopefully soon, sometime. That'd be great. Yeah, it'd be nice. That'd be nice little tribute to him, you know. And uh, your cover song, which you're playing today, is Spansel Hill. Spansel Hill. Mm. Um, and what song? What does that song mean to you? That is just um, Irish music would have been quite big in my house, like just growing up listening to up there. Reasons. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, mean, I always I always loved Irish music, and it was just always a song I just thought was class. I loved it. This, I love a song with the story in it, like. So I guess that always kind of stuck with me, and, like playing that tune. So this is Spansel Hill covered by Dahi McGann. Last night as I lay dream Of pleasant days gone by My mind been bent on rambling To while and I did fly I stepped on board a vision And I followed with the wind Until next 
They came to anchor at the cross of Spansel Hill. It was on the twenty-third of June, the day before the fair, when Ireland sons and daughters were all assembled there. The young, the old, the brave and the bold, their duty to fulfil at the parish church in Clooney, just a mile from Spansel Hill. Oh, I went to see my neighbours To hear what they might say The old ones were all dead and gone The young ones turning grey And I met that sailor quickly He's as bold as ever still Sure he used to make my bridges When I lived in Spansel Hill Oh, I paid a flying visit to my first and only love. She's fair as any lily and gentle as a dove. She threw her arms around me, saying, Johnny, I love you still. Oh, she's made the farmer's daughter and the pride of Spansel Hill. Oh, I dreamt I hugged and kissed her As in the days of yore She says, Johnny, you're only joking Like many's a time before And the cock crew in the morning He crew ball loud and shrill And I woke in California Many miles from Spansel and I walk in California, many miles from Spansel Hill. So uh, for the Trinity Quarter Concert Hall yeah. area, um, come back to you in a year, what do you hope to do? Yeah, well, at the minute we're, we're, we're in touch with a lot of acts to try and get, to, obviously the capacity is only 100 people, so kind of just trying to work out work that out really f is, is for us to see what acts we can do with that amount of people and you know what acts are, are willing to do it I suppose because it, like, there was an article in the paper with Tommy Tiernan and I read about it and he was saying that he kind of he's lost the, the drive to go and do live shows because there's a certain level I suppose of anxiety around people of performing in front of people that you can't you know if you're, you're in the performance industry you rely on you know, the energy in the room of people to perform to and games if that's taken away it's a very could be a very strange environment you know that kind of way so I guess just touching base with them all and trying to see what shows we can put on and yeah. hope for the best and if you had a dream act to book who would it be? A dream act? Uh, alive or dead? <laughs> alive and dead uh, Alive I, I, I mentioned him earlier on Xavier Rudd I would love to I went to see him in the academy and I just thought it was one of the best gigs I've ever seen it was class he was he did a song with, doing drums and didgeridoo and he was all, it's fucking, he was brilliant so I guess he'd be up there not one of the acts I'd like to get. and Paolo <laughs> yeah. oh, cool. I love you man and uh, for the future of the coffee box is there any um, music events or anything that would be incorporated in the coffee yeah box? well we do well I'm hoping to incorporate a bit like morning swims and stuff like that a bit more and I guess kind of just promote it's, it's a strange one, a strange time we're living in, you know, it's like, you, are you allowed to get people together? Like, you don't know, it's a, it's a weird one. So I guess just kind of waiting for this big thing to pass a little bit, you know. Mm. But yeah, we, we organise like a pals, um, a dog walk. My sister's uh, has a dog grooming t um, business called Pals and Pooches. So she organised that once, once a month. And yeah, I guess little events like that, little community kind of vibe, you know. Yeah. Trying yeah. to make people happy. Hard job. <laughs> yeah. Before we we end, we have a quick, a quick fire round for you. Oh, I it's like only it. a short one. All right. <laughs> as quick as you can. Yeah. 
So Palantini's Costa Glove or Sunny Side Up? Sunny Side Up. Sunny Side Up. Acoustic or electric guitar? Acoustic. Digital music or vinyl music? Vinyl. Guinness or Pale Ale? Oh, <laughs> depends on the day. <laughs> Hot coffee or iced coffee? Hot coffee. Both of which you can get at the coffee place. Yeah. <laughs> 17 plug in, all right. <laughs> uh, garlic bread or kebabs? Garlic bread. Yeah. <laughs> very nice. Kebabs. And the, the very last question. Okay. Is for musicians starting out in this town, yes. what advice would you give them? Uh, try and find somewhere you can play. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, it's a, yeah, that's probably it. Hopefully, with the new pubs opening again on Monday, that they will be able to host some music. And I guess the, the, the best way I kind of learned more was playing with other musicians, little sessions and stuff like that, and playing along with them. You learn it, you learn an awful lot. Mm. So yeah, that's what try and learn and play with other people. Good It'll help. really help you along. Great stuff. Mm. So where can people find you online? Instagram. Yeah, all the social, media. All social media <laughs> on, the, on the gram and on Facebook gram. and all that kind of jazz. I don't actually have much of the music. We've the High Life album up on Spotify mm -hmm. by the Swings if you want to check that out. But in terms of my own music page, around, I don't really have a solo page up. But mm -hmm. uh, you can add me as a friend. <laughs> uh, one actually last question that I forgot to ask. Yes. You said you're going to re re release the dam, but do you think you'd ever return to music in a, in a bigger way? Um, I don't know. I, I enjoy playing music and that. I, I guess I don't know if I see myself like going into that whole mainstream kind of thing. Like, uh, but I just yeah, I just kind of roll with it. Like, I enjoy playing music and I, I enjoy organizing events as well and organizing gigs and stuff like that. So it's all kind of part and part and one, you know. Yeah. So that's kind of what I, I, I guess. So I'll always be involved in the music seen one way or another I guess we'll see you around yeah and the the last song you played is By The Swings yes tell us about that song that song I wrote when I was in Australia with a uh, with a guy called Roams he, he was an Australian musician and we were at a party one night and he was like I have these chords but I can't do anything with them and the two of us just sat down and penned it down and wrote, wrote that tune but it's, a, it's about it's about childhood friends and you kind of drift apart as you get older and you know you so you might have we used to hang around up in the woods and have a tire swing and stuff like that like mm. messing around and then you're just kind of reminiscing then as a coming back go back to the swings and then go back into your childhood i suppose <laughs> lovely yeah well thank you for coming on thank, thank you. you for the coffee it's no lovely. problem and uh, the audience is going to hear by the swings by Diane mcgann hope you enjoy it cheers thanks pal oh cheers Bye. <laughs> friends boats taken till the end when we played out in the park nothing could tear us apart now i stand out here alone my baby girl has gone home from the start on to high school you called me your silly fool and I just laugh at what you said You had my heart, you had my head By the swings, you pushed me so You'd say how high I'd say let's go You'd say how high I'd say let's go So I wait here by the swings Where we believed we could do anything and I'd look over my shoulder And I'd see you smiling When I'd see you smiling I haven't seen you in so long My heart breaks as I write this song I thought those days would always last I'm reminiscing on the past I wonder now where you'd be Cause you were everything to me I hope someday you'll come and see And push me again now by the swings And push me again now by the swings and 
So I wait here by the swings We believed we could do anything And I'd look over my shoulder And I see you smiling When I'd see you smiling I used to feel the gravity Pulling down on top of me Cause we were young and we were free By the swings we used to meet And by the swings we used to meet and So I wait here by the swings We believed we could do anything And I'd look over my shoulder And I'd see you smiling When I'd see you smiling So I wait here by the swings We believed we could do anything And I'd look over my shoulder And I'd see you smiling When I'd see you smiling